So Kim, end of another show, Apex 2016 in Las Vegas. How's the show been for you? Any particular highlights? Anything you particularly spotted in terms of trends? So the highlights are obviously the scoop booth, uh-huh. all lit up in uh, in great Vegas style. Mm-hmm. Really like that. And it was a great media hub as well. So lots of interest, lots of interviews. Um, and actually, from a lot of companies, some feedback that they were doing business on the show floor, mm. which is always nice to hear. Yeah. Um, so uh, still mixed messages about what's going on the on the American market. It's a mm. little bit bumpy, but uh, with feedback like signing uh, contracts on yep. the show floor, it seems positive. Yeah. Yeah. I spoke to I think uh, Mike from. Um Speedprint, they mm-hmm. told the machines off the booth they were being shipped straight to customers. So there was some positive feedback there. More talk about Industry 4.0, IOM, um, those kind of trends. But actually, people seem to be making steps along the way to do that. I talked to the guys at Kick Thermal about some of their um, easy start solutions and actually talked to a few contract manufacturers like Saline about what they were doing on the Industry 4.0 side. Anything you've seen in that area that's been of interest? BTU um, ovens, um, always an interesting one. How, where, where do ovens fit into mm. that whole discussion? But everybody's switching on to it, mm. onto that subject, really understanding it, and actually also talking about how job specs are changing within the company. So mm. they're now getting um, data analysis people in, um, because all this data that's being created needs to be analysed and, and mm. interpreted. Um, so new jobs on the line as well. Yeah, that's interesting. And certainly we, we had a, a reshoring debate with uh, Rick Polanski from Vertex uh, and Kevin from Simplematic. And we were talking about jobs coming back to the US with um, smart shoring, as Rick called it, but also the use of automation to actually maintain jobs here and, and make and make sites more competitive. There's a few other robotic companies here, so mm-hmm. we're seeing that trend with collaborative robotics as well. I think one of the interesting things that's been going on in the uh, Industry 4.0 discussion is the whole debate around around standards, and I know there'll be some news coming out soon on the whole OML thing, so um, that's kind of interesting. Any other new products? You've, you've been talking to the Ventec guys on the on the bare board side, for example. What's what's going on in that sector? So in the sector, well, as always, bare boards is very much in this market about mid aero. It's about high reliability. Um, it's about thermal management. Um, very important for this market. So they've just launched um, a new product range. So those guys are starting to think about branding and putting mm-hmm. uh, complicated, uh, I, th- I suppose, order numbers into something that has meaning, something that the, un- the market understands, and you're seeing that throughout that part of the, the supply chain. Okay, so it looks like it's been a good show. Where are you off to next? I think you've got another show in the US next yep. week. I'm at Long Beach at APEC, uh, okay. so I'll be doing some interviews there, looking forward to that. Okay. And then back to the UK for um, SMT Nuremberg in okay. Germany. Yep, and while you're there, I'll be at um, Nepcon in Shanghai. So. Mm-hmm. More of the same. Thank you very much, Kim.